Welcome to our service for Advent 2, Sunday the 6th of December. Lift up your heads, O gates, lift them high, O everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. May the light and peace of Jesus Christ our Lord be with you. The Lord bless you. Lord, direct our thoughts and teach us to pray. Lift up our hearts to worship you in spirit and in truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we light the second Advent candle and we pray. God our Father, you spoke to the prophets of old of a saviour who would bring peace. You helped them to spread the joyful message of his coming kingdom. Help us as we prepare to celebrate his birth, to share with those around us the good news of your power and love. We ask this through Jesus Christ, the light who is coming into the world. Amen. A voice cries out in the wilderness, make straight the way of the Lord. So let us listen and turn to the Lord in penitence and faith. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. May Almighty God, who sent his Son into the world to save sinners, bring us his pardon and peace, now and forever. Amen. Out of the depths I have called to you, O Lord. Let your ears be open to hear. My hope is on God's word. If you recorded all our sins, who could come before you? My hope is in God's word. There is forgiveness with you, therefore you shall be feared. My hope is on God's word. My soul is longing for the Lord, more than those who wait for daybreak. My hope is in God's word. O Israel, wait for the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy. My hope is in God's word. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My hope is in God's word. The reading is from the Gospel according to Mark. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it was written in the prophet Isaiah, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptised by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptised you with water, but he will baptise you with the Holy Spirit. This is the word of the Lord. On this second Sunday in Advent, we think about the prophets. The prophets were those who spoke God's truth 
into a situation. John the Baptist is just one of many. The prophets span generations and each one speaking that truth and speaking of the future, of the here and now, but also of the medium future, of the long-term future, for the end of all time. And they point the way to Jesus. They point the way to Jesus in the things that they are saying about what will come, what is God's great plan for his people. They are a reminder that God does have a plan. He has a plan for people in the here and now where they stand. And God prophesies through these prophets of what is to come, what is to happen when people call upon him in times of difficulty, in times of war and famine. The prophets speak those words of God Sometimes they are words of hope and comfort. They are words to reassure the people, to remind them that God is with them. Sometimes they are words that challenge, that call the truth and say to people, what you are doing is wrong. A call to amend their ways, a call to repentance and for new life. And sometimes they are prophesying the hope of years and years to come. They are prophesying to the time when Jesus will come and God will complete his rescue plan. And they talk of the end of the age when all things will be brought together in Christ, when he will return and be our judge. So during this season of Advent, we are called to listen to the prophets, to see those things that speak, that speak of Jesus, those things that speak of God's will and God's desire for us in our own present age. And we listen to the words of the prophets that speak of the years and times to come when God will come and rule and judge this earth, when we need to be prepared. For Advent is, yes, about our waiting for Christmas, but it is also about our waiting and our longing for that time when Jesus comes to be our judge. As we hear the words of the prophets, we are challenged in our own generation we are challenged in the things that we do, in the words that we speak, in our relationship with God. And we are constantly pointed to Jesus. One of the things about God's prophets is they speak of the fact that God is in control, that he does have a plan even in our waiting, even in the confusion of our world today, that he has a plan, that he is working his purposes out. So during this Advent, as we look at the prophets, we think about the prophecies of that which is before. We think of Adam, and with the characters of the Old Testament who journeyed with God. We think of Jesus, of God's plan in Christ that is revealed once again to us at Christmas. And we think and look forward to that day when he comes as judge to rule the world. God is the ruler of heaven and of earth and he has a plan and that plan is for good. It is there to prosper us, to encourage and to support us and to bring us all that is good in the end times. But we need to allow ourselves to be challenged as well as encouraged. We need to think of those things that speak into our own community and into our own hearts 
about our lives and our relationship with God. And we need to use this time of Advent for amendment of life. And then enjoy, like the prophets, our relationship with God will be revealed when Jesus comes both at Christmas and at the end of the world.
we gather expectantly in God's presence, let us pray. God of cleansing and liberating power, give us the courage and perception to see ourselves as we really are and repent of our sin. May the whole church be cleansed and renewed. Come, O oh come Emmanuel, come and live in us. God of wisdom and truth, we pray for the world's leaders and all in authority, that they may lead and govern wisely and honestly, without corruption and for the good of all. Come, O oh come Emmanuel, come and live in us. God of love and faithfulness, may every family be surrounded and upheld by your presence. The conflicts healed and needs provided for, and every act of kindness blessed. Come, O oh come Emmanuel, come and live in us. God of wholeness, bring your reassurance and healing, your hope and patience to all who are suffering in any way. Bring freedom to all imprisoned by hate or guilt and a change of heart to all those who need to forgive. Come, O oh come, Emmanuel, come and live in us. God of unending life, bring life in its fullness to us here and to those who have completed their time on earth. May they know the freedom and joy of your heaven. Come, O oh come, Emmanuel, come and live in us. God of warmth and brightness, we praise you for our many blessings and above all for coming to save us and set us free. And joining with the whole host of heaven, let us pray as our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God himself, the God of peace, make you perfect and holy and keep you safe and blameless in spirit, soul and body for the coming of our Lord Jesus and the blessing of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and all whom you love this day and evermore. Amen.